probably do not know his name. He has almost never been seen in public, much less photographed. But U.S. forces have been on an intense hunt for Baitullah Masood, the leader of the Taliban, the most wanted man in Pakistan. Unarmed drones, the weapon of choice in the fight against the Taliban, have been closing in on Masood in recent weeks. And today, U.S. and Pakistani officials are saying they think Masood has finally been killed by one of those drone strikes. Our senior foreign affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, is in Washington tonight. Good evening, Martha. Good evening, Charlie. Senior officials tell ABC News that President Obama was briefed today on details of the drone strike and why the U.S. believes there are strong indications that Batula Massoud is dead. Batula Massoud, whose back is to the camera in this rare video of him, is enemy number one in Pakistan, believed to be behind some of the most spectacular attacks in that country including the assassination of Benazir Bhutto in December 2007 and horrific suicide bombings in Lahore this year. U.S. officials consider him a grave threat as well, the nexus of all terror groups in Pakistan. The U.S. and Pakistan have been trying to track Massoud for months. Nine of the last ten CIA drone strikes have been aimed at his network. But U.S. and Pakistani officials believe that a strike in South Waziristan yesterday very likely killed Massoud, a senior U.S. official saying there is a 95 percent chance that he is among the dead. U.S. officials had visual and other indicators that it was Massoud. Pakistanis are now trying to collect physical evidence to be certain. If it is confirmed, the Obama administration has hit one of the most significant terrorist targets in years. For Pakistan, the strike could have a profound effect, says ABC's Nick Shifrin from Islamabad. Undoubtedly, there would be new commanders to take Batullah Massoud's place, but his death would give Pakistan a level of confidence that the Taliban isn't all powerful and its leadership can be decapitated, and that would help push people here to take on the Taliban. And the fact is that the U.S. admits it needs Pakistani support to win this war. Nuclear armed Pakistan is an extremely important ally in fighting terrorism for the U.S. And if Massoud is dead, it will not only make the Pakistanis safer, but the U.S. as well.